Thanks for joining us at Right on Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. Vanguard was one of the early U.S. satellite programs that launched back in 1958, and at the same time, competition between model manufacturers was intense. This model was actually produced from, well, imagination and some schematics and information that was available at the time in a rush to put something out uh, for the consuming public. Now, it's a skill level 2 kit originally issued in 1958, the same time that the uh, actual Vanguard satellite was launched. Uh, it's model number HL603 in the latest release in, in 2014. Now, round two models has brought it back for us and this classic kit from Hawk Models. Prices on the open market for this kit were reaching out of the world proportions and we're happy to have it back again. Um, it's molded in 28 pieces uh, with opaque uh, parts, gray and clear parts, along with some decals to label every aspect of the craft, uh, which may or may not have been on the original Vanguard actual satellite. So, uh, once you're done, uh, it's about 12 inches from the end of uh, one antenna to the uh, opposite side, and it's approximately 6 inches tall sitting on the base. Here are the contents of this kit, and as you can see, these are the parts that came out of the box. Yes, this is an open box review, or as some people would call it, an unboxing. Then they would pick up each piece and try to explain to you what the part is, but that won't help you build the kit, will it? So we're going to do that, and you can see my open box review here in about 10 seconds. Remember to follow the manufacturer safety and use guidelines when using any of the products that you see or hear about here in the review. And we'll be using Model Master Clear Cement, sometimes super glue for strength, and if there's any uh, clear parts involved, we would use some of the white glue to, so that it dries crystal clear. Locate the instrument package halves and the top of that, and we'll assemble that first. Match up the halves and Make sure that it fits together uh, as good as you can uh, with regard to the seams there and use some of that liquid cement and a rubber band to hold it in place until it sets. After the glue dries, you can uh, spray the part with some uh, medium gray primer uh, and let it uh, dry thoroughly. Parts of the instrument package are bare aluminum, so to get this appearance, I started by spraying on a coat of gloss black paint and after 24 hours uh, of letting the gloss black paint dry I applied a light coat of L-clad uh, polished aluminum for that look. Letting that dry overnight again I masked everything off except the top and bottom rings and applied a coat of Tester's Acrylic Guards Red number 4632. 24 hours later I masked that off and applied a coat of Tester's Acrylic Leather 4674 to the second from the uh, top ring. After that was dried, I carefully masked everything except for the third ring from the bottom and sprayed that Model Master's Willow Green, that's FS14187, letting that set and dry overnight once again. I masked everything except for the second from the bottom and the third from the top. I then sprayed those with Tamiya Yellow Lemon, it's X8 in their catalog. Finally, after the yellow had dried, <laughs> another overnighter, I masked everything off except for the center ring and sprayed that a coat of Tester's Acrylic French Blue, number 4659. Then I applied a coat of Future Floor Polish to the entire instrument package. Using the instructions as a guide, I applied the decals to the instrument package using those recommendations. The items I use to apply the decals are some warm water, some micro scale, micro saw, uh, and uh, a small paintbrush to apply it, and a razor blade to cut out the decals, and the decals of course. So after they dried, I applied a coat of future floor polish to that through my airbrush. Get these items out for the instrument package, support ring and bottom, uh, and then we'll use those to assemble uh, them and then 
I sprayed the ring and the bottom with some uh, medium gray primer uh, to give it a good base coat. The ring and the bottom are bare aluminum and once again to get that appearance I sprayed it with some all, uh, all clad gloss black and then after another overnight uh, to dry I used um, a light coat of all clad polished aluminum to give it that um, shiny uh, bare aluminum finish. Now we'll install the support ring uh, and the bottom onto the instrument package and I used some crystal clear from Micro uh, in the dimples of the instrument package to secure the ring uh, along the bottom edge of the instrument package and for the bottom piece. Now we'll gather up these parts for the lower satellite shell. Those are the, uh, the lower shell, the clear bottom, the micro meteorite microphones, the ionization chamber, and the solar aspect cell. Spray all of the parts except for the clear bottom with some medium gray primer and the micro meteorite microphones, the ionization chamber and the solar aspect cell are also bare aluminum as are and the lower shell is a gold color. Uh, so to get this appearance I started by spraying them all with a coat of gloss black. After that dried overnight I applied a light coat of alclad polished aluminum to the micro meteorite microphones, the ionization chamber, and the solar aspect cell, and then I sprayed the lower shell with the alclad pale gold. I then painted the inside of the micro meteorite microphones with some Tester's acrylic stoplight red, number 4633, and applied some bare metal foil copper to the inside of the aspect cell. I sprayed the clear dome portion of this unit. Uh, with some future floor polish and then I painted the thermistor uh, with some testers acrylic leather 4674 and the erosion gauges with some testers flat black 4768. I applied the decals using the method from previously with some warm water, positioned them, smoothed them out and then uh, added some of the uh, aftermarket setting solutions to make sure that they fit the contours and then I applied a coat of future floor polish over the decals to seal them in place. I crumpled up the bare metal foil a bit uh, and applied that to the inside of the lower shell and that gives the appearance of an insulation blanket. Now use some of that crystal clear or some white glue to glue the clear bottom onto the lower shell and the micro meteorite microphones onto the clear bottom and then the ionization chamber and the solar aspect cells are glued on using some testers liquid cement. Now we'll get these parts out to work on the instrument package structure and the lower shell. Now these, there's four components here and the support arms and the upper support arms are used. Then I sprayed all the parts with some gray primer. Again the support structure is bare aluminum and to get this appearance I started by spraying it with the gloss black and after a day of letting it dry I applied a light coat of all clad polished aluminum to these pieces. Glue the support arms and the upper ring into position on the lower instrument package using some of that white glue or some micro crystal clear. Now you can glue the entire instrument package module to the clear bottom using some white glue. Gather these components for the upper shell and the uh, antennas etc and spray all the parts except for the clear top with some medium gray primer. The microphones and the antennas are bare aluminum and the upper shell is gold and we'll use the same process as before in order to achieve those effects. The parts in this section are painted the same as the ones in the lower section with a little stoplight red into the microphones and the crumpled gold foil into the shell. Glue the upper and lower shells together now with some of the liquid cement and hold the two halves together using some Tamiya tape here uh, to make sure that it uh, adheres to the parts and uh, firmly presses them together. The seam was more noticeable than I expected so I filled it with some squadron putty. Just use your favorite putty, fill the seam and then we'll sand it smooth. 
I cut the antennas at their base and glued them to the support ring using some medium super glue. Now after carefully masking off the lower clear and the top opening, I resprayed the entire shell with some Tamiya gray primer. Again I sprayed that with some uh, gloss black, allowed it 24 hours to dry and applied another coat of Alclad pale gold. I sprayed the top, uh, the clear top, with some future floor polish to give it a nice bright finish. And then I applied the decal using the method from earlier and I also sprayed that with some future floor polish to seal them into position. Using some of that setting solution I then applied the major decals to the exterior of the satellite model. Now using some of the thick super glue gel I glued the antennas to the shell. Now let them set for a few moments and hold them in position so that they look like they're all horizontal. Grab some of the stand and platform components here with the clear legs and then prime the platform with some medium gray primer. There were some sink marks on the base so I used some of the squadron putty but you can use whatever filler you prefer. Then I sanded the putty with some light sandpaper in this case about a 400 grit and applied a coat of Tamiya white primer to it. I applied a coat of future floor polish again on these clear legs for the stand and used some small clamps to um, clamp the tips and let them dry. Now you can use those to glue the legs onto the platform using some white glue or the micro crystal clear. There you have it. This is a great kit with great subject matter that was brought back for us uh, to commemorate the days when we were younger building those model kits every day in the 60s. Now round two brought it back and at least it's not a um, hundred dollars so if you can still find one of these out on the market buy one and put it on your shelf. We hope you like this premium model kit review and so that you don't miss any more please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and as always at our website www.writeonreplicas.com Thanks!